What is up, YouTube? This is your boy Omelette, bringing you episode one of the Walking Dead Let's Play. It's actually technically episode two, because episode one was the announcement video. This is actually the first game in which we are getting down to business. We are playing this game. We are going to live commentate the hell out of it. So what my thought is, is I'm going to walk you through in my mind all the any major uh, plot points, anything that's going to require a decision. I'm going to talk it out. Uh, everything else, um, when the storyline's going on, I'll try to keep t um, quiet. Um, that way we can actually uh, uh, hear what's going on. And we can actually make the best decision for our character. So let's get going. See, choose display style. Standard, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices or minimal. Turn off UI hints and help make notifications. You know, let's go standard for this first play since we're pretty new to this. And we go episode one, a new day. Let's start this off from scratch. This game series of adepts to the choices you make the story design. That's good to know. Cue ominous music. Dun dun dun. Walking Dead. Episode 1, A New Day. Here I was half hoping I'd be uh, Rick would be the cop that I'm behind, but eh, it's all right. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You have a limited amount of time choice. Uh, you know what they say about reckoning? You know what they say about reckoning? No, I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. What do you say every time, not from me? Mm, let's go not from me. Not from me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from me because you got an option. What'd you think? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Fuck you. I love my wife. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. 
Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the well. door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Watch out! This other Watch time... Out. Oh, shit! Sorry, some of these decisions are probably going to have to make myself just make them as quick as I can. And... Well, I think we're going to end that first episode right there. So far we know that we're in the back of a cop car. We don't know why. We're being driven around by a heck. It looks like he maybe hits a zombie. We flipped over multiple times. We're in a ditch. It's not looking too good for us. So let's see what happens next time. And uh, thank you so much for joining us.